would I preach? And my wife came in and I said, I don't, I don't want to preach that. And she said, well, you just whine to God because I'm not listening. <laughs> God didn't listen to me whining either. <laughs> but I thought about that. You know, sometimes, you know, it seems like when, you, when we preach, we got to get hard on people. And, and I don't like that any more than anybody else does. And if I can just say this, I, I was thinking about Isaac and digging out those wells. Listen, our King James Bible water is good enough. It's cool. It's refreshing. It's, it's still sweet water. There ain't nothing wrong with it. We don't, we don't need no ESV. We don't need no NIV, non-inspired We don't need a new. We don't need. We don't need a new well. We just need the old ones dug out. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I thought about that, and I, when it come to what they were filled up with, Brother Donnie, he said they're filled up with earth. The earth is this world. Yeah. I believe today, you're right, we've got more of the world in our churches than we yeah, do the Bible. Right. 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 Yes, sir. And I'm, not, I'm not proud of that. I'm not happy about that. Right. Right. Come on. And I believe some of it is us yeah. as preachers. It's our fault. Because yeah. right. yeah. sometimes we want to have compassion. I think a lot of times about Noah. Yeah. God told him, you seal the ark from the inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm going to seal it from the outside because with your undirected compassion when that rain starts coming and you hear them banging on the door you might try to unseal that from the inside yeah. and God said I'm going to have to seal it on the outside because if they don't listen to me now they're not going to listen then That's right. and we're going to do something dumb and then as I thought about this and I don't know I guess I'm not I'm not all preachers, I'm just one. And I probably fail more than I uh, hit home runs. But I thought about what I was going to preach, and then Brother Donnie got on it, and I thought, all right, Lord, I'll do that. Brother John said right at the beginning, we want to continue. I'm okay with continuing. I don't want to continue the same way as I did last year. Yeah. I want more. Yeah. I want to see God do more. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Just clean them out. Use the same thing. But only this time I want to take more water out. Right. I want a bigger bucket. Yeah. Amen. And I'll carry one in each hand this time. I'll not I want to tell God I don't want to be lazy this year like I was last year. Ah, come on. Amen. I see two verses here, and, and most of you know where I'm going, but I don't hear anything else about him. I don't hear anything after this. I've tried to read and study and find out more about him, but I don't know any more about him than these two verses. In 1 Chronicles chapter number 3, And verse number 9 and verse number 10, the Bible says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez did what we better do in these days. Preach, preacher. Yes, sir. We've let this virus shut our churches down. Yeah. We've let this virus bring us so close that I'm afraid... That if it, if it keeps going like it is in the, in the systematic way that it's going, there's going to be a lot of Baptists line up to take the mark of the beast. Uh, no. What about that? I'm just being honest with you. I'm not saying this thing isn't real, but I am saying God knew it was coming. Yeah, right. Right. That's right. Absolutely. He already prepared us yeah. for it. You say, how? Trust Him. Yeah, he wanted to show us that we have stopped 
trust in him. We're trusting a doctor who started this whole thing. Yeah. Are you understanding? Come on. We're not looking to the doctor who right. can take care of it all. Right. And I believe he can wipe it out today if enough of his people got the message that he wants us to get. Yeah. Yeah. He said, if you won't pray to me in 2019, in 2020, I'll force you to your knees. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe that's what he did. Listen, I, I serve an extremist God. Yeah. I serve a God that took a baby home yeah. because David sinned. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I serve a God that cared so much about David that he said, I'll take your child because I know that child's going home if it'll get your attention. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what God's got to do but Brother Donnie, I don't think, I don't think that he's got our attention yet. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Because right now there's more churches that because it's flaring up again, they're closing when they ought to be opening more days a week than just Sunday and Wednesday. Right, right. Right. Because we don't need a vaccine like the vaccine they're putting out. We need a vaccine from God yeah. and that's the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. And I so in death can't even touch me. I'll see when I get saved in one year now. God said, all right. 
I'll let you see. Then he said, John, next year can I see two? Yes. Maybe I can see ten next year. Mm -hmm. The year after that, see twenty. Mm -hmm. The year after that, see a hundred. He said, I just want you to push out the borders. Push, enlarge my coast yes. and let me do more than I've ever done before for you. Yes. Come on. That's good, preacher. That's if good. you're going to do that, and you're going to take the glory. Don't expect God to allow that to happen. Right. 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 God didn't leave us here to make a name for us. Yeah. He left us here to make a name for Him. Yeah. 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 So watch this, Brother Donnie. I know I'm not blessed. I know that. But I want to be like Jesus. Because here's what He said in that last little, little part of that. He said, and God granted Him. Yeah. God said, I'll do it just because I can. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't say this is going to be impossible. I'm not going to do it because you're not a big name preacher. I'm not going to do it because you ain't in the right building. I'm not going to do it because you don't drive the right automobile. God said, I'm going to do it just because I can. Amen. Amen. You want a bigger ministry? Huh? You can have one. You've got the biggest head of the ministry there ever has been. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, listen, my thought is this. Does God want to save people? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, it's his will. Yes. God's, hey, listen, I, I, I hate to bust people's bubble. God ain't a Calvinist. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. He didn't die for some. Right. 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 I mean, right. if you don't believe that, that's all right. You will one day. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But if Peter, he said that he was not willing that any should perish, but that all should come. Did he say that? No. Yeah. 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 Did he mean what he said? Yeah. Yeah. Did he mean it then, or did he mean it continually? And keep it on and going. So he means it forever. So he never meant for one. And listen, God knew all the languages. I'm saying there was not any language that he didn't know. If we develop another thousand languages, he knows all them already. And he could have said, I prepared hell for everybody that wouldn't come to me. He didn't even say that. He said hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. Amen. Not for a man. And he could have said it was for a man. So Jabez is saying, you know what? If God didn't want anybody to have, go to hell, then I don't want anybody to go to hell. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's yeah. what we ought to be saying right. in the ministry. Yeah. Right. So, so here's the thing. And I, I'm not trying to take too much time. I'm just saying. Preach. Brother John wants a, a theme of continuing. And we ought to continue in the things that we've learned. Right. If you don't, listen, if you're a preacher and you're changing your doctrine, just please get out. Yeah. 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 I'm not talking about out of here, get saved and then go. But, but I'm saying get out of the ministry. Yeah. That's right. right. I'm not being mean. Oh, I'm yeah. just saying That's we got right. enough, we got yeah. enough yeah. false doctrine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Donnie brought it up. I, listen, I, if you don't believe right, and I'm not talking Baptist. Because I know a whole lot of that this ain't right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm talking about if you don't believe that King James Bible, right. you're wrong. Amen. Let God be true in every man yeah. 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 But here's what we need to do. We need to ask God to help us in this year to do more. Amen. Now listen, COVID, I, I'm saying, I know politicians say never waste a a tragedy or a catastrophe or something. How, why, why do we then? Right. Yeah, come on. This is bad. And the whole time COVID's been going on, people have been dropping off into hell while churches are saying, yeah, we can't have more than nine in our service come on. because the government said, I don't care, the government don't run the church. Right. Right. Last time I looked, the right. government was upon the shoulder of the one who is the head yeah. of the church. Yeah. So it ain't God. God didn't say to the God didn't say okay uh, because the Congress and the Senate and, and, and the President now wants uh, uh, to shut down the church while well, we'll go ahead and shut down no he didn't say that yeah no. come on he no. said it doesn't matter what's going on you just continue yeah. Yeah. how many of you are afraid of going to heaven this morning or <laughs> no sir 
Why do we act like it? Yeah, yeah, come on. Right. yeah come on. Exactly. Right. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying if, if, if you feel like you've got to wear a mask, wear the mask. I know some people look better in a mask. <laughs> But how come we're not putting the mask of salvation on right. people's heart? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Why are we more worried about this virus than we are hell? Right. Yes, yes, sir. I know people have died from the virus, but you know they did a study, Brother Donnie, less than 1% died from it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. People died from complications. But do you know the complication is sin? Right. Come on. Is death? Yeah. Right. And hell? Yes. Right. Right. And I've seen preachers call off church. Yes. I'm not being mean. I was in a I was in a church that called us, my wife and I. She'd play piano for them and, and we'd sing or whatever, but we'd go to that church while we were working in that area. And he called me, Brother Donnie, and asked me not to come to church that night. Mm. And he did. On a Wednesday night. And he said, we might have too many. And the, and the, and the state says we can't have too many of them. And it wasn't Michigan. It wasn't the communist right. state of Michigan. Yeah. 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 But I'm saying this. He called me again on Saturday. And he said, you all can come back on Sunday. I was mad enough, brother. I mean, I still, I live in an earthen vessel. <laughs> it gets hurt now and then, and then it gets mad after it gets hurt. And if I don't go to God, that madness goes out into anger. You understand? I don't know God. That problem. I, I was a little bit upset that morning, and I got dressed, and I put my tie on, and I put everything, and I still had that anger thing going on. But I went to church, and we got in the prayer room. Now listen, we couldn't have it. You had to have social distance. I don't know where they came up with that. We had to have social distance. And so everybody's, we got seven men crammed in a prayer room that ain't even bigger than this people. Yeah. <laughs> no mask. Amen. And, they, and, and I said, I, I looked at the preacher and I said, uh, or he said to me, he said, well, you know, you could have come on Wednesday after all. We only had seven people. <laughs> and I said, uh, I said, well, I said, I, I did not call it off to begin with. Right. Yeah. Right. And he said, well, it wouldn't have looked right. Because he got angry too. He said, it wouldn't have looked right if, if somebody would have come to church and the Bible would have broke out in church. I said, let me just ask you all this. How many of you went to Walmart this week? Right. Uh, right. Come on. Right. I saw seven heads go. Yeah. 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 And then they got a little bit more when I said, how many of you went twice this week? Yeah. Now, I'm not being ugly. I'm not. I'm just saying. When you call off the greatest force of help you can get, yes, and that's yeah. the church, because the state tells you yeah. you've got the problem, yes, not yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, come on. Amen. Park it. That's right. Amen. Come on. And that's Amen. where we've been. Yes, sir. Now it's starting to flare back up, and I don't know how. I don't know how much of it's rumor. I don't know how much, but I, I, I look at it this way. I talked to God this morning. He ain't taking a baby aspirin over it, so I'm not. Yeah, that's right, brother. And you know what? You know what? My direction from his was, keep on going, only go a little bit more. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. I said, Lord, it's been quite a load this last year to carry. And he says, I'll tell you what, if you'll just get under a little bit more of that, I'll get under a little bit more. Amen. He said, you get under a little bit more of them, I'll get under a little bit more of them. And you know what? Before long, I was looking over and I was carrying a whole lot more than I thought I could. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Why? Because I asked him, just push out the borders in my life. <clears throat> push him out in the ministry. Allow me to do more right. than what I've ever done before. Right. Allow me to hand out more tracts than I've ever right. handed out before. Allow, I, I, and my wife's my witness. I stopped today on the way down here. I, we only got off one. I did it. I was driving. Uh, it, they shouldn't make as many exits as what the break. They only, only make the one I'm going to get off on. Amen. <laughs> I get less lost. Right. Uh, but anyway, 
I got off on the wrong one. We flipped around after a couple miles and turned around and come back. Anyway, uh, I come back up to this one up here and I get off and there's a black man sitting on the uh, uh, rail out there. And I pulled up beside him and I said, I said, hey, you working hard. He said, I'm working real hard. I didn't know how to take that, but whatever. I was just going to start a conversation with him. He didn't ask me for money. No, I wasn't going to give him none anyway. Uh, and uh, so we just got talking, and I said, well, I just thought I'd stop and tell you Jesus loves you today. Yeah. He said, well, he must love me because he said I've been hit by two cars and lived through it. Yeah. Is that what he said? Hey, I mean, he's been hit. Listen, I'm just saying. I'm just saying there was a time in my past that I couldn't have done that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I was preaching last night, and... And, uh, and I had to tell people, and, and some people already know it, when, I was, when God called me to preach, I had to make sure that he really knew my name. But I'm pretty sure he had the wrong guy. <laughs> Amen? I was shy, Brother Donnie. I, my, I had to ask my wife. Well, no, I didn't ask her. She had to ask me to marry her. That's how shy I was. Amen. Now all the time when things go wrong, I just remind her of that. <laughs> it's your fault, you asked. You don't ask me, I didn't. But anyway, but I'm just saying this. When God called me to preach, I, I told him I can't do it. But that's been the whole theme of my, of, of, of my time in the ministry, is asking God to do a little bit more with me. Yeah. And a little bit more. Amen. And I've learned that if you'll keep asking him to do more, every time you take that little step further that you didn't think you could take, right. he'll come along and he'll Amen. pick up that load. Amen. It's not as heavy as what people think it is. Right. And you'll find yourself doing more than you ever thought possible yeah, yeah, yeah. with you. See, when, when Jabez prayed and asked God to do this, I love that last part. Yeah. When he says, and God yeah. granted. Yeah. You know why God's not granting us the revival we want to see? Yeah. Oh, he'll let us have revival services, Brother Donnie. Well, I, I can remember times. I, re, I remember one time at your place. Yeah. I remember singing the Fibbishat nine times. Remember that? Yeah. Under the tent. That's what Miss Buckley went into labor with Kim. She said that they told me in the ambulance, she said, I never want to hear that song again. I remember. I remember having services where it got, that's when Brother Buster Seaton was preaching. And it gets so thick. And I mean, things that happened, I... And, and I'm not, you know, you said reminisce a little bit about the past. Yeah. Remember, remember a little bit. But they want more than that in the future. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want more than that today. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's right. We just got to keep getting the world out of the church. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And we can have revival. Yeah. 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 People say we can't have that anymore. You know why? Because we ain't asking God for it. Because right. yeah. I think the same granting God that was then is the same granting yeah. God. to write on your tombstone how you finished the Christian life, what would it say? Yeah. What would it say? If God wrote on your headstone how you finished your Christian life, what would it say? Yeah. I think some would say he was on cruise control. Mm -hmm. He sat down. Some, he'd say, he quit. 
I don't want any of those. Amen. I want mine to say he went out and run it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. If you want that, it's going to take three things. Number one, it's going to take vision. You said it. I remember years ago, a man preached on faith with something you couldn't <clears throat> see. Now, I'm not, I'm not and, and I don't want y'all to talk to my wife about this. I'm not very educated. <laughs> I'm not good at spelling. I can't spell good. Amen. I don't always talk right, so when I miss words, I don't look at her. <laughs> I don't need to be corrected on the spot. You understand what I'm saying? Right in school, I mean. <laughs> but it's not a substance, something you can grab a hold of. Yeah. Now faith is the substance. Brother Donnie, I don't think we have a vision today. And I'm not talking about all the on drugs, we don't need any more of that kind of freedom. Right, right, come on. I'm talking about looking down the road and seeing what God's will yeah. is for us and for those that He's put in our path. Amen. Amen. Do we have a vision for people getting saved? Or do we just have a vision to go out and get our name off? Not really. Well, my church is the best church. You know, I never, I don't understand. I don't know where we'd have to go back in history. I don't, I don't believe. And I, I listen to Dr. Seidler every day. Every day. I, Dr. Seidler wouldn't have had, wouldn't have wanted that church known as Dr. Seidler's church. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. Have. He wanted that known as God's church. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Now today, people, well, hey, you, have you been down there to a uh, doctor's? And I don't understand the doctor's so much. you got a doctor's degree, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Let it be shown, not known. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't got to wear it on your pants. Right. Yeah. 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 Amen. I'm just saying. I heard somebody say this. People don't, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you can. Right. Right. And that's true. That's right. But we have no vision today for people getting saved. Right. We don't. Mom. I don't believe that most of our church, and I'm not saying, I'm, I'm, we're in a different crowd. Understand that. I, we are. I know that. There's people out there that they're just going through life like it's nothing. I'm saved. No. I'm saved and really that's all that matters. Amen. You know, yeah. Yeah. shame on us. You're right. <clears throat> right. We we've lost the vision. Yeah. I mean, and and I and I, I don't. Sometimes, brother Donnie, I sit and I think. My wife tells me I think crazy sometimes. She says you need to shut your mind off. But I sometimes I ask God, why didn't you just stay here and do this for yourself? We're not good at it. I do. I say, Lord, why didn't you? Why did you leave? I know we had to go home and prepare. And think all them years. Think what my mansion's going right. to be like. <laughs> but we've lost that vision. We want somebody else to do it. I was talking to Brother Patton all, at the camp meeting the other day, and and uh, and I don't I don't say this. In a bad way. You know, there's people that you can tell when they want to be somewhere else. <laughs> there's some people that they might be here in the U.S. but their heart's somewhere else. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can just get that feel. And they're content where God puts them, but just barely. And I'm not saying that about you. I'm, not, I'm just using you and I was trying to you sitting there in the second row. <laughs> See, I'm not good at math either. <laughs> but here's the thing. I remember when the Lord first called me into the ministry. Every time a missionary would come through, that's where I wanted to go. That's what I wanted to do. Boy, those people need the gospel. I'm going there. Until India came up, and I fought that for a long time. I don't ever want to go to India. And I'm just saying, that was the vision. Was wherever there's lost people, they need the gospel, Man. and that's where God wants to be. Yes. And I may never go to those 
places that I can pray yes, for amen. God to do a work. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. I mean, so it takes it takes vision. I mean, That's right. It takes us seeing what God wants to do and 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 to use us to do that. But then number two, it demands what was preached on this morning. It demands faith. Right. right. You know, one thing I had to come up with that, that or that come to a realization that I'm not saving anybody. Yeah. When I came to that realization, the ministry got a lot easier. Yeah. It did. Yeah. I thought I thought all the time I had to not just tell them about the Lord, but I had to save them. It, I, I had a preacher one time, and, and, and I, he made this statement, Brother Donnie, when we first went to South Dakota, he made the statement that if you ain't seeing 200 people get baptized in a year, you're not like a God. I said, I don't even see 200 people come to church in a year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I Great. counted all the people that came every Sunday, I might not have that to do yeah. <laughs> But I got to thinking, Brother John, that I was doing wrong. Because I wasn't seeing people get saved. Yeah. And then when I did see people start getting saved, and they got saved almost every Sunday, then I could have taken the credit for it. But in the meantime, God showed me that, son, it's not your job right. to save them. Right. Right. It's my job to save them. And I will, if you'll, if you'll go out there and you'll plant this, I'll save them. Yeah. You know why? Because he can. Yeah. 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 Just because he can. Yeah. Number three, and I'll be done. Listen now. This is an un-American word right here. Not only does it take vision, and it takes faith, but it takes work. Yes. It takes work. The ministry is work. I know a lot of people that think that they're going to get into the ministry so they don't have to work a real job. <laughs> yeah, come on. come on. Am I right? Yeah. I believe that's how it feels. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have to have a real job. Well, I'm telling you what, if you work the ministry right, it's a real job. Yeah. And I mean, it's a rewarding job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it'll wear you slap out. Right. Yeah. I, my wife right. and I left the, left the trailer yesterday morning I'm not bragging, I just, this has been a normal day for us lately. We left the trailer at 7 o'clock yesterday morning, and we got back to the trailer last night at 12.30. And enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. Amen. Right. I saw God work in a way yesterday that I hadn't seen in a while. Right. And it wasn't because of me. It was all because that's what God Amen. wants yep. to do. That's right. He loves, he inhabits. Does it not say that? Yes. Yeah. He inhabits, he dwells among, he gets right down in the middle. He inhabits the praises. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I'm just afraid we don't praise him like we are. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm, right. I'm nobody. But I serve a great God. Amen. 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 Sure. I don't see Jabez as being anybody. But he asked that great God to make his life count. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how long I've got. I'm 60 years old. I know I don't look that. But I am. And I want to finish right. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. I've had a lot of bumps a long way, a few potholes in the road. But I'm glad God can smooth those out. Amen. And I'm glad He doesn't smooth them out all the time. Amen. Amen. Sometimes it takes a few bumps for us to really see yep. what's going on. Yep. Amen. But I'm glad through it all. If nobody else is faithful. I'm glad he is. Amen. And I'm glad he wants to work. I'm glad he wants to save people. I'm glad God wants to answer our prayers. I'm glad he wants to grant us things. But what are you asking him to grant? I want to see more people get saved this year than I've ever seen get saved in my lifetime. And you know what? You know what? I'm just believing God will. That's, right. Right. That's, that's what I'm supposed to do. The Bible still says you have not because you ask not or you ask a miss. I don't want it for the credit for me. I don't want them to say, oh, look at Andy out there. Look at I'm content people not knowing my name. I like it. Amen. I want to let them know 
Jesus is. I want them to know who the Savior is. Yeah. Amen? You want to continue? But let's continue and then some. Is that called continuing plus? Huh? I don't know where you're at in your life. I don't know what you did this year. I don't know what you did last year. Huh? Let me ask you, from today on, would you just ask God to push it out and allow you to do more? Allow you to talk to more people about Jesus. Again, it's not our business to save them, although we'd love to see them get saved. But it might be something that you plan. Brother Donna, you may plan it here today. And, and, and a week down the road, a year down the road, somebody comes and says, you know that message Brother Donnie preached? Boy, that's still ringing in my ears. And I'm the one that was hindering the service. I'm the one that didn't get saved, but I need to get saved now. Yeah, yeah. We can plant, somebody might water, but I know who is the only one that can give the interest. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 